Imagine traveling from Shanghai to Los Angeles in under half an hour and to circle the Earth in just over two hours. This isn't science fiction, it's the potential reality thanks to China's recent advancements in hypersonic propulsion. Chinese scientists have successfully tested the world's first oblique detonation engine, ODE, powered by standard aviation kerosene, achieving speeds up to Mach 16, approximately 19,600 km per hour. This groundbreaking development could revolutionize air and space travel, bridging the gap between atmospheric flight and space exploration. For decades, engineers have struggled to develop an engine capable of sustaining hypersonic speeds without the limitations of conventional propulsion. China's oblique detonation engine ODE changes the game. Unlike traditional scramjet engines which rely on subsonic combustion inside a supersonic airflow, the ODE uses shock waves to ignite fuel, enabling more efficient and stable combustion at extreme speeds. This approach drastically reduces flame-out risks, one of the biggest challenges in hypersonic propulsion. At the core of this breakthrough is the use of standard aviation kerosene RP3 jet fuel, a first in hypersonic engine technology. Historically, engines operating at these speeds have relied on hydrogen-based fuels due to their rapid ignition properties. However, hydrogen is difficult to store and transport, making it impractical for real-world deployment. China's solution pre-compressing RP3 fuel to 3,527 before ignition, ensuring rapid combustion comparable to hydrogen but with the ease of handling kerosene. Another game-changing innovation is the engine's combustion chamber design. Engineers placed a 5 mm bump inside the chamber, triggering a self-sustaining detonation wave that stabilizes combustion. This eliminates the need for large combustion chambers required in scramjets, making the ODE's combustor 85% shorter. The result? Lighter aircraft, longer flight range, and better fuel efficiency. All crucial for practical hypersonic applications. The engine was tested in Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel, one of the world's most advanced hypersonic research facilities. Simulating real flight conditions at altitudes above 40K, the engine sustained detonation at Mach 9 for a distance of 150 meters within the limited 50 millisecond test window. While short, this test confirmed that the engine can maintain combustion under extreme conditions, a significant milestone. The implications are enormous. A fully developed ODE-powered aircraft could travel from Shanghai to New York in under 40 minutes, bridging the gap between atmospheric flight and space travel. If scaled up, this technology could enable reusable space planes, making low-cost orbital access a reality. The strategic impact of China's oblique detonation engine is profound. If successfully deployed in hypersonic aircraft and weapons, it could reshape modern warfare by outpacing every existing defense system. At speeds of Mach 16 missiles, drones and bombers powered by this technology would be nearly unstoppable, striking targets before enemy defenses even register the threat. To put this into perspective, the current US and Russian hypersonic missiles operate at around Mach 5 to 10, with limited maneuverability. China's ODE-powered vehicles would travel nearly twice as fast, making interception virtually impossible. At these speeds, a missile launched from China could reach any point on Earth in under an hour, drastically reducing reaction times for adversaries. Another key advantage is fuel efficiency and operational range. Because ODE engines burn standard aviation kerosene, they avoid the logistical nightmare of hydrogen fuel storage. This means China could mass-produce hypersonic aircraft and missiles without the infrastructure limitations faced by the U.S. and Russia. Lower operational costs also make these weapons more deployable, giving China an edge in sustained military engagements. Hypersonic dominance is not just about speed, it's also about survivability. Traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, follow predictable trajectories, making them easier to intercept with anti-missile defense systems. Hypersonic weapons, on the other hand, can change course mid-slight, rendering current defense technologies ineffective. If China integrates odo compounded hypersonic missiles into its arsenal, it could bypass all existing missile shields, forcing nations to rethink their entire defense strategy. This development also fuels the growing hypersonic arms race between China, the U.S., and Russia. 
the U.S. has struggled with scramjet-based hypersonic weapons facing technical failures in testing. Russia has made significant progress deploying the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle capable of Mach 20 speeds. However, Avangard still relies on ballistic missile technology, whereas China's ODE opens the door to sustained atmospheric hypersonic flight, offering greater flexibility and range. China has publicly stated that its goal is to develop an operational hypersonic aircraft by 2030. Despite the breakthrough, major engineering challenges remain before oblique detonation engines can achieve full operational use. The 50 millisecond test duration in the JF-12 shock tunnel proves the engine works in controlled conditions, but sustaining hypersonic combustion over long distances and extended flight times requires more development. One of the primary issues is thermal management. At Mach 16, the friction from atmospheric particles generates intense heat, exceeding 3,500 degrees centigrade. Traditional aircraft materials would melt under these conditions. Advanced heat-resistant alloys and active cooling systems are needed to prevent structural failure. China will need to develop new materials that can withstand these extreme temperatures without degrading over time. Another challenge is fuel delivery and efficiency. The pre-compression technique used to ignite RP-3 kerosene works in lab conditions, but integrating this into a real aircraft engine presents engineering difficulties. Ensuring continuous, stable fuel flow at hypersonic speeds without disrupting combustion is a complex task. Minor fluctuations in air intake or fuel mixing could destabilize the detonation wave, leading to power loss or catastrophic failure. There is also the question of pilot control and human survivability. At Mach 16, maneuvering an aircraft would be incredibly difficult due to intense G-forces. Even if AI systems handle navigation, communication delays at such speeds could complicate real-time decision-making. Hypersonic reconnaissance and transport missions may require fully autonomous flight systems, a field that still needs more refinement. However, if these challenges are overcome, the potential civilian applications are game-changing. Imagine commercial hypersonic travel, where flights between New York and Tokyo take under an hour. Space agencies could use this technology for reusable space planes, drastically reducing launch costs and making space exploration more accessible than ever before. China's goal of a hypersonic aircraft by 2030 may seem ambitious, but the progress made so far suggests it's not impossible. With continued research, advancements in aerospace materials, AI, and fuel systems, this new era of hypersonic travel could become reality sooner than expected. China's successful testing of the oblique detonation engine marks a monumental step forward in hypersonic propulsion technology. By harnessing standard aviation kerosene to achieve speeds up to Mach 16, this innovation has the potential to transform air and space travel, offering unprecedented speed and efficiency. While significant technical challenges remain, the progress made thus far underscores a future where the boundaries between atmospheric flight and space exploration become increasingly blurred. As research and development continue, the dream of traversing vast distances in mere minutes moves closer to reality, heralding a new era in aerospace capability. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.